Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Bold and the Beautiful Bank. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Bold and beautiful and young and restless stars come out to support Heather Tom in the wake of her mother's death. Earlier this month, the bold and the beautiful's Heather Tom, Katie, lost her beloved mother on Sunday, February 4, and following the family's tragedy, many gathered to honor Mary Tom. Ashley Jones, who plays Tom's on-screen niece Bridget, posted four photos from the celebration of life. See what young and restless Mark Grossman and his sweetheart got up to on their getaway. We love you, Heather, Jones expressed, having known the actress for over 25 years. It was an honor to gather together and celebrate your mom with you, David and Nicole. In thinking back on Marie, Jones recalled that she certainly knew how to live and loved how she left them with the word tenacity. Jones continued, her memory will live on and on, as Catherine Kelly Lang Brook added in the comments, it was a perfect day for Marie. Aside from Jones and Lang, other daytime friends of Tom's came out to support her and her siblings, including Jennifer Garis, Donna, as well as her former The Young and the Restless castmates Christian Jules Leblanc, Michael, and Kate Linder, Esther. In an earlier post, the CBS soap vet shared images of her mom, herself and her son Zane, plus a few of Marie's paintings to which Tom stated, she captured my Dorothy Hamill haircut to a T. Fans once again showed their support by letting the actress know how sorry they were for her loss, and we too again send Tom and her family our deepest condolences. At the Cliff House, Finn asks Steffi, are you sure you're okay? He can't believe Sheila broke in there. He asks if they arrested her, is that why the police drove off? Sheila flashes to the stabbing and says, no. Finn asks, where is Sheila? Steffi turns and says, she's gone, Finn. Sheila's dead. At Forrester, Brooke and Hope embrace in the design office and talk about the crazy night. Hope shares that Finn said the power went out at the Cliff House. She was at the hospital to pick up a prescription for Douglas. She explains that Finn was good, and it was good to catch up, but he was worried about Steffi. Brooke asks why Finn's worried about Steffi. Hope says Steffi and Sheila had a confrontation. Brooke worries that Steffi should be careful. Sheila is very dangerous and she should stay away from her. Hope questions how realistic that is when she's Finn's birth mother. They discuss Finn having a connection to Sheila. Hope has no sympathy for Sheila, but she feels for Finn. Brooke muses that it must be hard being the son of a monster. She doesn't blame Steffi for wanting to set Sheila straight after she approached Kelly. Hope says Steffi told Finn that she wished Sheila were dead. She could tell it rattled him a bit. Brooke asks what Sheila expects. She shot them in cold blood. Hope empathizes with Finn and his feelings for his own birth mother. In the main office, Thomas and Ridge are talking about him being in love with Hope when Carter bursts in. Thank God you guys are still here. I just got a text from my contact at the police department. It's about Shayla. Join us as we look back and pay tribute to some of the daytime stars who the industry lost last year by viewing our photo gallery below. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.